Hey buddy, Gordon Titsworth here from Images of Eden and you are watching the Crash Course YouTube channel with our local homegrown press guy, Trevor Crash Knight, here in York, PA. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Crash Course Metal Show. I'm your host, Trevor Crash Knight. So today we are going to be doing an album review, a brand new album that came out a couple weeks ago, the end of October of 2023. And that is going to be the sixth studio album release from the band Icarus Witch. This is the sixth album from Pittsburgh's own Icarus Witch. Uh, no Devil Lived On is the album title, uh, the album name. And with this album here, it is more of a concept album. And this is their first uh, attempt at a concept album. So, but first, let us jump in here to the current lineup. So you have Noah on drums. You have Jason Myers on bass and keyboards. And then you have Quinn Lucas on guitars. And then you also have Andrew on vocals. So this is the second album that is with Andrew, the vocalist. And the other album was previously Goodbye Cruel World from 2018, which is a good album in its own right as well. So you're getting a little bit more of that as that that sound from this album to that album. So, but a little bit of background. Like I said, uh, Icarus Switch is from Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They formed in 2003, which they, their first album, which I've been a fan of since this came out in around what 2005 ish. Yeah, 2005, and that is Capture the Magic. And that was my introduction to Icarus Witch. And, you know, they had that sound of traditional heavy metal, you know, like your Iron Maidens, Queen's Rikes, Judas Priest, that type of traditional heavy metal. And as, you know, time moves on here for the next 20 years, I got reconnected with Icarus Witch when Goodbye Cruel World came out. And I certainly missed a couple albums, if you will. And but I got them all here now, except Songs for the Lost. I do. I am on Jason all the time for hey, let's get a reissue of this uh, album because that is the only one that is missing in my collection, sadly. But but then you had Rise. Uh, you had a different singer as well there, and that only lasted for one album. But that was a good album in its own right too. More modern sounding, if you will. But then we move here to the Andrew era on vocals. And like I said, you get by Cruel World. And then obviously the new album here, No Devil Lived On. So let us, I'll show you here real quick the uh, packaging of this album. So I did get the CD. They do have vinyl as well. And I think if I remember, it is like a black and purple marble. If I am not mistaken, I can't really remember, but it looked nice. Either way, it looked nice. Uh, I was really debating on picking up both the CD and the uh, vinyl. But yeah, there you go. Uh, the front cover, very cool. And here I'll show off the inside. You do get the inserts. You get some nice artwork here as well to while you're listening to the album. Now, like I said, it is a concept album, and this is their first attempt at a concept album. And when I think of concept albums as far as in the metal field, I, you obviously think of like Queensryche. You obviously think, I, I think here now, of this kind of reminds me of something like Blaze Bailey's Infinite Entanglement series, like the three-part series here, obviously. And now, it is a long way to get through that, uh, the three albums. Good stuff on there, but like, it is three albums worth, so that's quite a story to tell. So you get a little bit of something like that here. Uh, you know, very sci-fi-ish, you know, futuristic a little bit. Uh, but good stuff nonetheless. Very, it certainly keeps your interest, especially if you're looking at the artwork here and reading the lyrics and such. Uh, I think you will be able to 
capture the magic, if you will, of the story and of the concept of the album. And I think I think it works. Works pretty well. But we can jump in here to track by track. And we will do that here right now. So right from the start, track number one, you get Heaven's Ghetto. And, you know, it, with this, you get Andrew's vocals. Like, when I first started listening to the song, or, I mean, you know, the album, I'm like... Am I listening to one of uh, Rob Halford's solo albums or Bruce Dickinson's solo albums or something? Like, there's traces. Now, he has his own style as well. Uh, he has his own flavor. But there are traces of certain, you know, uh, deliveries that he does and such that kind of reminds me of a Bruce Dickinson or like a modern Bruce Dickinson and, you know, a Rob Halford, Judas Priest. So, and then at the same time, though, too, you get... If you're a switch, like instrumental, the music is very traditional sounding uh, as far as sounding like a little bit like Judas Priest and stuff. Now, they don't necessarily sound like Judas Priest and Iron Maiden like they do on their earlier albums, like say Capture the Magic and Draw Down the Moon, so, you know, the early stuff like that. But with Heaven's Ghetto, the first track, uh, Thunder, you get like thundering drums. There's good. Uh, Good, good little drum sections on this song and I think it's just you know a very good traditional modern sounding track and then moving on here Stranger Than, Stranger Than Angels solid song nothing uh, great nothing bad though either it's there decent track and so moving on here to track number three I really dig track number three you know Last Night on Earth one of my favorite tracks and I like the lyrics in this one here as well, uh, where Andrew says, would you count your blessings or would you count your cash, you know, being the last night on Earth? Uh, I just really, I, I dig that lyric there is really good. So moving on here, track number four, Million Light Years From Home. This is, or this was the first single, I guess you could say, because... I remember Jason or, you know, Icarus Switch, like, at least, like, it had to have been at least six months ago. It might have been longer than that. Uh, released it just as a standalone, like, single or, like, a tease, I guess. And uh, then they started, this, were kind of giving us, like, hey, this is going to be all the new album then, like, a little bit later after they released it. So we were quite excited for that. Really good, really good song. Uh, you know, it's a solid fast track. Jason's bass is galloping, uh, and that's another part too here uh, with Jason's bass. Like throughout, he does some good stuff here throughout. Now, obviously, like you'll hear that throughout all of the catalog of Icarus Witch, Jason doing his thing on bass. But I, I, I really took notice of it here, uh, digging deep into this album, and like there's little things. There's another song in, uh, later on that where Jason really shines too, uh, that I really took notice of. But yeah, a million light years from home. A really good, really good solo too from Quinn as well. I, I, this song has a lot, uh, a lot going for it. Uh, I, I understand why they put this as one of the, like pretty much the first single, and uh, can't no complaints with it at all. So moving on here to the title track, "No Devil Lived On." This is another one. Jason's bass throughout is really, really good. Take notice grabs your attention right away uh, nice mid tempo track nothing uh, nothing crazy as far as like speed or anything like that but I mean it, it these guys are professional I mean they've been doing it for it's hard to believe over 20 years now or almost 20 years anyway but yeah it's amazing it is crazy to think about that because I remember when I was like 12 13 years old picking up uh, capture the magic the debut and I'm like damn these guys are awesome and then you know years later come back around and they're still doing it still putting out quality stuff it does sound a little they have grown it, certainly they have grown and uh, certainly there's a professionalism in that so that's really cool to see too it's not like they're doing the same thing over and over which I mean I wouldn't necessarily uh be opposed of because i do absolutely love capture the magic and, and like the, all, a lot of the early stuff as well but i do love the second era and then the third era here the current era 
of what Jason and Icarus Witch are doing. So it's really, really good stuff. So you get moving on here, uh, Heartbeat Away, a very modern sounding Maiden song, and like a, like, or not a Maiden song, but like a modern Maiden intro and like outro and stuff, like with the uh, chord, like the chord progressions and stuff like that really, really sounds very uh, influenced from Maiden. And that's quite understandable because if you know any other catalog, Icarus Switch's catalog, you know that they are influenced by Maiden and Priest. So that's just awesome to see and hear as well. Them giving like a little bit of a nod to them there in this song. But good song. So moving on, track number six, Rise of the Witches. I think this was the other single that just recently came out for this album. Uh, very catchy chorus. Andrew does well with the vocals here. Everyone does well. It's just really good overall. Everyone's tight. Like I, I think this is this is a pretty good lineup. Um, now, I, I will say with the concept albums, for me in particular. In my experience, it does take me at least like four or five lessons to really in start to enjoy singular songs from a concept album. I don't know if it's just me in my head or if I'm trying to focus on like an actual story or like too much uh, everything clumping together a little bit. Uh, I don't know what it is with concept albums. What just happened? But this, like after like the sixth fifth sixth listen like i started really where it was starting to able to dissect it and find out what i really like and at the end of the day it is pretty much most of the album that i do like but i don't know concept albums are always a little uh hit or miss for me but certainly icarus witch here i am more than happy to have this concept album in the collection so track number eight shadow chaser i like the uh you know guitar riff the energy that it brings to the song i like it same thing with andrew's vocals has a little bit of energy there uh different kind of energy uh, compared to in this song compared to some of the others uh kind of some, somewhat similar to um a million light years from home a little bit similar to that uh, as far as the energy and pace and stuff like that but so moving on here to the final track, and it is actually a, an epic track, if you will. Epic. It's about 10 minutes long, and there's like three parts to it. So, it's called Starseed Trilogy. And then you got the first part here, the Emerald Tablet, which is basically an ins instrumental type deal. And then part number two, Ruler of Arcania. And then third part is And I Am You. I would say... The third part is my favorite out of the whole song. The last part, very good. I, I like it. I like the outro to it too. It kind of reminds me uh, the female voice that kind of like talks you out of this album with the music, because the closest thing I can think of at the moment, I think that is even over six minutes, if I can remember correctly, is uh, "Anti Venom" off of "Goodbye Cruel World" as one of the longer tracks from Icarus Witch. And I absolutely love that song. That might be my favorite song of the new era or current era of Icarus Witch. Like really good stuff as well there. But no, I like the I like the uh, epic, the ten minute epic. I, it, it's certainly another a good closure, another kind of story, if you will. But I, I like it, guys. It's a good album. Certainly one to pick up, especially if you like that traditional metal the Iron Maidens, the Judas Priest of the world, and you know just that type of traditional metal, but with a little bit of a modern production and a modern feel to the music. So, but like, Quinn still does solos on these songs. You know, there's still good riffs. Uh, Jason's bass is great. There's some thundering drum, drum parts throughout this album. Andrew's vocals are still clear, still strong, good stuff there. And, also picked up one of these as well from the band but yeah definitely good stuff here guys uh still after just about 20 years 20 years give or take they're still going strong uh jason's still going strong quinn's still going strong they're all going strong still and it's just good that once the original lineup kind of 
part ways. That's I'm very happy that they uh, Icar Switch still kept going on Jason, kept going on and such. So very happy about that. One of my favorites of the modern metal, or not modern metal, but of newer bands that I grew up with certainly, and even today still. Uh, one of one a band that I still look out for and want to keep up to date on a lot of their stuff so let me know guys in the comments what you think of no devil lived on if you haven't heard of icarus switch at all i certainly would say since you're watching this video listen to no devil lived on the new album let me know because it is different than say the earlier stuff too so maybe now with this album because we had a long five years there in between albums here from no devil lived on and goodbye cruel world hopefully it's not another five years for another album that would that would suck but i might be able to do an album ranking here very soon of icarus wish and that would be interesting in of in and of itself but quite excited to possibly ponder that idea but guys let me know in the comments what you think of icarus switch and new devil lived on I give this album an 8 out of 10. I like the concept of it. I, like I said, I was a little worried when I heard that, that they were going to do a concept album, but I think it worked. The artwork is good with this. It, it matches, obviously, and it helps you along in the story. Lyrics are well written. Music's well composed. You know, just everything what you would expect. I, I You know, I, I expected good things, great things, and I don't think they let me down at all with this album. So easy, 8 out of 10, loved it, and certainly going to be keeping a good amount of these songs over on the iPod. So guys, until next time, I want to thank you guys for watching the Crash Course Metal Show. Stay out of that collateral damage, and until next time, we'll see you guys later. called I want to rock your body and then in parentheses it says to the break of dawn